Let's do it together. And uh, let's take let's take as an example uh, different different problems that we we have we have around. So the size we imagine changing the dimension of an object from its given value to infinity. And in this case, the object, this is our element that we have in the central part of our contradiction. And the first we do, <coughs> we try to increase it. Let's take example about class. Uh, for instance, of students uh, in computer science. How many students do you have in a class, normally? In a class. In a class. That you work, that you, mm -hmm. you, you need to, to work with them. How many are there? Today. 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 Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So, we have a size, initial size, twelve. This is our zero point. And we will start to increase it gradually and see how our problem, how contradiction that you formulated will become more difficult or less difficult to solve. So the first we do, let's multiply by 5. If we have 60 students in a class, could you repeat for all of us your contradiction, please? They have to be motivated. Students. 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 They have to be motivated. Okay, let me, let me write it down. Okay, the element is a student. So, they have to be motivated in order to learn, in order to learn, and this is objective clue requirements. And the students, they have not to be motivated. Not motivated, why? Because lazy, lack of time. Okay, lack of time. Is it clear what is a contradiction, proposed contradiction? And now we try to see how to intensify it with the help of size, time, cost, and period. Okay, if you will have 60 students in the class, how it will be more difficult or more easy to answer this problem, to make motivation. Will you change it or not? More difficult because you have only one person. You get that instead of 12, 16. You have to, to be more, you have to, more problem. If we will have, once again, multiply by 5, if you choose multiplication by 5 or by 10, just keep it this step. Once again by 5. If you have 300 students, how your problem becomes more difficult or less difficult? Is it me that has to motivate them? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it becomes much more difficult, much more difficult. Okay. according to you. Okay? Let's multiply it once again by 5. You have no 300, but you have to motivate 1,500 students. <laughs> okay, the contradiction becomes very, very hard to answer. Now, let's do opposite. B, we change. We change size, number of students, dividing by same by five. If you have just three students, how your problem will be difficult or easier? According to you, you can motivate three students. Yeah, but if you have 60 students, it's much harder for you. Okay, three students. If you have just one student, how your problem will be? Much better. It means you know definitely your problem disappear. Your problem disappear. You don't have any more this contradiction. Is it right? Let's go to the end. If you have no students, <laughs> do you have problems? <laughs> well, a it seems funny. It seems funny. <laughs> but don't forget, we try to go out of the box. 
So it should be funny. As less students you have, the less problem you have. As more students you have, the more problem you have. So let's try to make the same exercise for the time. So your problem becomes easier when you have more time to motivate students. So the less time you have, the more difficult problem you have. Let's try to do this with a cost. And what is the cost in, in, in our case? This is your personal time invo involvement. Yes. Time plus materials. Mm -hmm. This is the materials and your knowledge. Yes. The cost, you see? It is not enough to put just the money. You have to put meaning inside of the money. Mm -hmm. Good. So, what is the zero cost? Normally, to prepare three hours of your classes. How, how many hours do you spend in order to prepare this? Three hours. Uh, one hour and a half. One hour and a half. Okay, let's take it as, a, as an example. One hour and a half, this is a preparation time. If preparation time will be three times more, for instance, 4.5 hours, how it will impact the problem? Will it be easier to motivate or less easy? Easier to motivate. Easier to motivate. Will it be more easier if you will increase time? The more we increase time, the easier it will be to perform. Let us see if we will decrease time for preparation, if we will decrease cost. It means we divide by 10, 6, 12 minutes, 12 minutes for preparation. Not one, one hour and a half, but just 12 minutes of preparation. How it will be more easy or more difficult to do? More difficult. And if three times four minutes for three hours course. Can you imagine? Can you conduct a course if no preparation? No. Because here, in infinity, we have no preparation. Zero. Zero hours for preparation. You have no chance to motivate your student. Okay. The problem becomes more difficult as soon as you decrease time for preparation. Let us see what is the profit of such exercise why we are interested about such exercise and how it helps us to formulate ideal final result and how it helps us to intensify our contradiction. This is intensification. How to motivate student without preparation for the short course for thousands of the students? This is intensification of the, your contradiction. Mm -hmm. So, and this is a problem that we would like to ask X element to help us with some x until now it's unknown should help us not only simply motivate students but to motivate 1000 students even more that have very short course without preparation of teaching mm 